What's up? Excited to be here with my buddy Kyle at the Garmin booth at Oshkosh 22. And he's going to walk me through the G3000. This thing is pretty sweet. I got a chance to fly in the Vision Jet. And for me, this is a whole new world. I'm used to maybe a, a button or a dial I can turn or maybe a, a nine digit keypad. This thing is sweet. So can you just Tell me a little bit about the G3000 and some of its capabilities. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me on today, uh, Rain. Great to see you here at Oshkosh 22. The G3000 is our latest and greatest as far as a uh, Garmin integrated flight deck, or GIFT-D as we call it. It has two Garmin touchscreen controllers, or GTCs. So instead of your traditional buttons and dials or uh, FMS, flight management system unit, you have two touchscreen controllers that really are the, the home uh, system of the G3000. We control all of your radios, your comms, your maps, uh, your flight plan, planning, radio, uh, excuse me, Sirius XM radio, for instance, uh, to listen to your favorite tunes and fly and CSXM weather. Uh, you control that through the GTCs, but you flew the Vision up here. Uh -huh. One of the coolest things that this Gifty unit has, the G3000, is auto land. So three airplanes, the Vision, the TBM, uh, and the M600 have auto land. It won the Collier Trophy last year. We'll put this in the demo mode. And what Autoland does is it aviates, navigates, and communicates. The three things we do as a pilot, it flies the airplane in the event of a pilot incapacitation, it navigates to the closest airport that it knows the airplane can land at based on terrain, weather, fuel, all of those factors that we all do as a pilot. Yeah. And then it communicates with ATC and the people in the airplane. So it'll tell you Autoland is active, it shows you stay away from the flight controls, estimated time to landing, where you're going in normal, person speak, it doesn't give airport codes, it gives normal uh, uh, English language uh, to those folks how long in miles and in hours and total fuel remaining. And then it communicates with ATC, squawks an emergency, as well as tells them this is the end number, here's where we're going, this is what we're doing so they can clear the airspace around you. And the great thing is, if you're a non-pilot sitting in the back, it hopefully uh, helps you uh, not only get the incapacitated pilot on the ground, but your family as well safe on the ground. Uh, and you can use the GTC as a major uh, push, uh, push button. If you want to yeah. talk to ATC as well, it converts all the screens into easy English and as well as easy to use for a non-pilot. So G3000 by Garmin uh, with Autoland. Call your 2020 winner. Uh, it's yeah. a great system. It's really cool to hear that. Here's the one thing I bit off of as just a pilot. I'm curious. Yeah. When it's talking to ATC, is it doing that via data link or is that a voice communication? It actually has voice communication. So everyone else on frequency, let's say you're talking to Chicago Center on 2547, you'll hear it come on and say, Garmin Auto Lane is active, an emergency, we're going here, that sort of thing. You'll hear it just on frequency, just like you or I would declare yeah. an emergency. It tells you uh, uh, fuel on board, not souls, but fuel on board. It's, it's awesome. Aviate, navigate, and communicate does all three. That's perfect because, again, building the SA of the entire airspace and those around, people who are flying around can then hear that and know that there's an issue going on. Absolutely. Obviously, this happened recently down in Florida, which made the news. Yep. Uh, they didn't obviously have auto land. Yep. Fortunately, that gentleman was able to land the aircraft, but it's something that can happen. And I'll highlight, you, you mentioned the Collier Trophy, which is a really big deal. For those who listen to the podcast, I've talked about it before, is AGCAS, Auto Ground Collision Avoidance System that has saved at least 12 pilots' lives to date. This is something that CFIT, the control flight and train, it still kills pilots and is probably the number one killer for pilots. So AGCAS won the Collier Trophy for saving lives. This system here, Collier Trophy winner, and I can see why. You never know, it doesn't matter who you are, it could be me tomorrow, which I think I'm in shape, but like you just have a bad day. Being able to get the plane, you, and whoever's with you on the ground safely is huge. Absolutely, and it, it would have helped at events like the Payne Stewart accident as Lear. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Back in the day, and it would have saved him, the two pilots, and everybody else on board that aircraft, that Lear 31. Uh, and again, it doesn't have to be just pilot capacitation because of health reasons. It could be a rapid depressurization, you don't get the mask on. It'll auto descend on uh, emergency descent mode, and then it'll initiate an auto land as well. So the system has a lot of things built into it that's not only pilot capacitation, but just general everyday emergencies that like uh, rapid depressurization that we're trained for flying the jet right. right. But uh, uh, this is in the GA world. It's pretty fantastic. So I want to back up a little bit because, yeah. I mean, the auto land is, it, that is amazing. And the car trophy speaks for itself. But to me, again, coming from an F-16, yep. really rudimentary. I mean, it's point A to point B. You get a thousand steer points. They so usually you have to hand jam in there with a nine digit keypad. Yep. Having all this information in here, obviously it's plane dependent. This is the integrated flight suite. What is something, like, what is possible? Where can this go? Can it go in any type of aircraft? Like, 
Understood. So our, our G3000 system uh, is actually a family line, G2000, 3000, and 5000. Normally seen in new OEM airplanes, so uh, new aircraft like the Vision, like the TBM, uh, like the M600 with Piper, uh, new turbine aircraft. And again, it makes flight planning so much easier. If you have a Flightstream uh, 510 card, which is a card you can see there, it connects to your iPad, you can push your flight plan from, for instance, the Garmin Pilot app straight to the airplane. No longer do we have to use a keypad and plug in the lat longs uh, to see your waypoints. Uh, you can do that. It'll automatically sync uh, ADS-B or Sirius XM traffic and weather onto the iPad as well. So when we say integrated flight deck, it means a lot more today with the iPad and iPhone um, in integration into the into the cockpit. So even with the watch, right? The watch correct. can be integrated to this with altitude alerts. You can, you can integrate your watch into into uh, what you're doing with the iPad or the iPhone. Uh, I'm wearing a Mach 1, a D2 Mach 1. We just had a pilot uh, flying an ER or an ERJ 145 that actually the watch sensed the depressurization before the aircraft did. And he looked down and looked at his FO and said, "Hey." I'm getting a high cabin alert on the watch and looked up and the message then popped up on the cast. So the watch actually uh, alerted him of a depressurization situation before the aircraft did. So even the watch, you're exactly right, integrated into really the safety of, of you and the passengers on board. And that's something I was talking about before we started recording, but you know, I have the Phoenix 6. The military made a big push, fighter aircraft, for guys to have this. And it was a big hurdle because going into the vault with Bluetooth and wireless capable Absolutely. devices is a big no-no. They overcame those hurdles because it was so important to get guys another tool in the event of a depressurization, Absolutely. et cetera, to have that awareness, it, again, it saves lives. And it's something as simple as a watch, right? Which you never would have thought that, but it's amazing technology. Absolutely. Yes, 100%. And we're, we're so happy that we can we can give somebody uh, all the health benefits of wearing a Garmin watch, you wearing it to work out, uh, or just track your sleep cycles, for instance, and yeah. then use it in the airplane in an emergency situation. All, all cases of life, whether you wake up with a watch on your wrist uh, or use it at 35,000 feet, uh, you know, it can help you just as much as the flight deck can. It's really cool. Is there anything else you want to highlight with the G3000 that you think maybe the average Rain who's out there who doesn't know anything would want to know or need to know going out the door. I just think that, you know, folks are always impressed by the ability to do things like split screen. You're not just locked yeah. into a PFD and an MFD. You can actually split it into multiple MFDs, separate the cockpit, co-pilot to pilot, uh, and, and as well as use the, the Garmin touchscreen controllers. People are always looking for buttons and knobs to use, uh, and, and they're not always looking for a touchscreen, but we've built it super intuitively so you can anchor your fingers and push the buttons on here as well. Uh, and then Autoland, right? We're the only uh, joint aviation manufacturer of avionics that integrate that kind of technology in this in our autonomy suite of flight solutions. So this is really the whole package. It's our latest and greatest, and, and we're very proud of it. Awesome. So. Kyle, I really appreciate it. Thanks for, Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Thanks.